Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. You know, at some point, these leftoids are going to F around and they're going to find out. At some point, their going to behavior is going to catch up with them. At some point, the cultural mentality is going to shift. It's going to shift hard and not in their favor. You know, in the current cultural environment, leftoids feel like they can get away with anything. Everything that they do is justified because they're the victims, the oppressed fighting against the oppressor class. The mentality is that violence is just justified in their revolution against the fascists. Well, as we know, it's a load of bull. What we really have are a bunch of entitled little spoiled suburb brats who think they could go around assaulting people, stealing people's private property. And in this case, for this spoiled little college brat, it didn't exactly go according to plan, I guess is the way that we could say it. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so take a look at this viral video. Posted just three days ago, it's already accumulated millions upon millions of views. Entitled girl decides to take someone's sign, but she regrets it real quick. The warning. Ma'am, don't steal the sign. You can't steal the sign. You're on camera stealing a sign. Sam! Officer, she's stealing the sign. Ma'am, you're about to walk right into a police officer who you're committing theft right now. Don't throw it over. Don't do that. Don't do that. Steal the sign. I just moved it. You just did what? I just moved it. You just moved it? So you took it? Okay. Who was holding it? Me. She just ripped it out of my camera. She just ripped it out of my hand. She just ripped it out of your hand? Yes. Why did you rip it out of his hand? Because this restricts women's rights. Restricts women's rights? He's, he's. Would you get it off for a sign, please? Lies on college campus. Okay. Can Where I go? A, can you get off for a sign for your damaged property? I can't believe y'all protect nope. them. You're not going anywhere. Right now you're being detained. Okay. Detained for what? Uh, larceny. You stole his sign. He has it back. Okay, yeah, I because I got 50, it from you. I moved it 50 yards. I don't care if you moved it one foot. You don't have a right to take someone's property. Okay? Period. I don't care what the circumstance is. You don't have a right to take anyone's property. He was holding it. Therefore, it was his. And you took it. Okay? I know you may not agree with what's being said, but you don't have a right to take someone's property. Period. Okay? One, six, seven, one, six. Oh no! What do you mean I'm under arrest? What do you mean I've stolen someone's property? How could you possibly be doing this to me? I'm just trying to bash the fash. No, you're a criminal. You committed a crime. It might be a misdemeanor. It might not be a big deal. It might just end in a fine. But at the end of the day, you do the crime. You accept the fine or you do the time. Eventually, it's going to start catching up to them. You can't just run around attacking people, destroying their property, stealing their property, and thinking that it's okay, it's justified because you're an unhinged lunatic who can't handle the fact that other people have differing political opinions. I mean, how many videos of this exact type of behavior have we seen? Conservative student groups on college campuses posting flyers or holding up signs, unhinged, lunatic, green-haired leftoids stealing and destroying their signs, taking their property. Of course, we've seen the same thing at protests off college campuses as well. How many times during the four years of Donald Trump's presidency did we see people get viciously assaulted in the streets for merely wearing a Donald Trump cap? or the iconic red Make America Great Again hat. We've seen it again a countless amount of times. Too many times to remember or to recite. We even saw one incident where I think a seven-year-old child was harassed by an adult woman over wearing a Make America Great Again hat. The woman in that case being one of the few individuals who was actually arrested for committing a politically motivated assault. Bunch of leftoid Antifa goons running amok. It's essentially an everyday occurrence. 
And again, let's attack that m both sides argument. Oh, it happens on both sides. There's crazy people on both sides. Does it really? You know, for the last seven years, the mainstream media and leftist activists have been going on and on and on about right-wing extremists and these crazy MAGA supporters. You know, actually, we can reference back to that Cenk Uger clip that I referenced just the other day, where Cenk said that trans folks should be arming themselves because he's scared that Trump supporters, MAGA people, are just gonna attack them in the streets. Well, of course, we know that's never actually happened. There's no instances, no documented instances of Trump supporters assaulting people in the streets for no apparent reason. For any left Leftoids possibly watching this video find me one specific example and post it in the comments section. Let me guess, the Proud Boys in New York? That brawl that happened in New York City? Nope, better luck next time Antifa attacked first. That was total self-defense as we saw from the video camera footage. It just doesn't happen. Leftoids attacking Trump supporters, or leftoid activists, attacking journalists or conservative protesters is a nearly daily occurrence. One place where it seems to be happening constantly is in the woke dystopia known as Canada. You guys remember that infamous moment where a pro-abortion activist kicked a woman in the face for simply holding up a pro-life sign? Well, that type of event seems to be happening constantly. Here's a moment, unfortunately I can't play the actual clip. Welcome to YouTube, but I'll freeze the frame, showing yet again a leftist activist on the streets randomly assaulting, punching a journalist in the face for asking a question. That was a couple weeks ago. Then, literally yesterday, an individual by the name Billboard Chris was simply standing during a protest with a couple signs. Once again, a mob of leftoid activists surrounded Billboard Chris and eventually viciously assaulted him. Again, I can't show you guys the clip because it's going to flag the video, but I can freeze the frame on the moment where he was assaulted and you basically get the gist of it. Here he is describing the events. Hey everyone, it's Billboard Chris. Had another successful day having conversations on this transgender day of visibility. I'll upload some footage later. As you can see, I've been assaulted a few times. I'm covered in dirt. And the Vancouver police did nothing about any of it. So Stay tuned for some footage. Thank you. And here was the woke Canadian Vancouver police response. Excuse me, did you just say he came here to incite violence by yeah. forcing his opinion on people? Yeah. Yes. You think he came here to incite violence because they got offended by his sign? When you what talk is to wrong someone with you? and scream at someone and he put didn't your scream face... at all. Yes, he, he didn't. Did. They put their face in his face. What yes. is wrong with okay. you? Okay. Well, so are you saying the guy who came How on earth did you become a police himself? officer? She is literally what? sitting here saying that Billboard Chris is inciting violence by standing there with his sign. Is that really your position? Okay, sir. We're done with this conversation. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. This is absolutely sort of unbecoming of the Vancouver Police How Department. Disgusting. Absolute freaking clown world craziness. You see why these vicious bands of leftist activists feel like they can get away with anything. Words are violence. I'm justified because words hurt my feelings, so therefore, I can assault anybody I disagree with. They're fascists, therefore I can assault them. Can you please define fascism? Yes, fascism means, uh, opinions I disagree with. Don't you know that silence is violence and words are violence? Welcome to clown world. Welcome to the crazy world that we live in these days. We have a bunch of spoiled little brats who feel justified to assault and attack people. Oh, and literally, as I'm recording this video, this pops up on my feed and Alex Stein was assaulted at a New York City event. It never stops, folks. It's endless. Spoiled brat leftists with a worldview that the world must revolve around them and their opinions and anything that makes them feel the slightest discomfort should be responded to with a temper tantrum and, in the more extreme cases, violence. You are not victims of oppression, victims of the fascist right. You are the fascists. You are criminals. That's what I got for you guys on this one, though. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.